work it out, Dutch. You always do. Oh, oh. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Song. <laughs> I got a girl in Berryville, can't be screwed cause she's too damn ill, so I don't go down there no more, the visible blue horse lays outside her door. I had a girl in Valentine, likes to drink that fancy wine, blue in her hat was two feet tall, cracking her pants, pay for it all. I had a girl in Berryville, can't get in her cause she won't stay still.
Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? <laughs> well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. Get up. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? I'd really appreciate the help. I I'm worried this one here will bolt on me, too, if I leave him. Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Okay. That's a good girl. This way. Come on. Gentlemen, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means he got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. <laughs> Go left here, down the main street. 
Sheriff's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Caught me off guard right there. Something else. All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris and Valentine. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur.
uncle. Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk fella. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's oh, lots of cash sometimes. Everything's okay up there? Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Oh, Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm going to go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Oh, hey, that's my horse. Just borrowing it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Please. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? 
I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. <sighs> Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. Here, girl. Hey, you're okay, girl. Yeah. Back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Make heads or tails of where I'm at. <laughs> I live in front of the saloon next to the freight station. Do you know if I'm heading in the right direction? Sure, sure. Just head over that way. You'll get home fine. Thank you, mister. Certainly do appreciate it. Certainly do. Can you believe that? Yep. Come on, ladies. This sirloin will put a smile on your man's face, guaranteed. Welcome back. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Why well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone <laughs> can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! hey there he is! Watch where you're going! Take it easy, pal! Are you about pal? to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, <laughs> and we have our answer! <laughs> uh. ah. 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 
you stop come sir you won the fight already surely that's enough what business is it of yours no business <clears throat> no business sir but please i beg you making new friends again i see arthur look who we found sniffing about Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well, well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill, looking as well as can be? Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater, uh, ah, well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on.
So what's up? Been better. Oh, it's, uh, you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? you like some help in here? Yeah, okay. Sure. Just relax. I'll take care of you. I'll be out of your hair in no time. Let me know if I'm scrubbing too hard, okay? You must get some bad men in here. Yes, that's how it is around here. Always been. Sorry for smell. Been a while. Well. Been a while since I've been able to relax like this. Really now? So you must have a feller. <laughs> You're nosy, aren't you? I've had quite the run of bad luck recently. I wouldn't want that for anyone. Oh, uh, I'm thinking, I don't want this to end. You're thinking, when will this be over? <laughs> You're so funny. You seem more relaxed now. It was nice meeting you. new band saws they got us working with about as reliable as a women's wash
Mister? Hey there. I'm gonna mind my business. Get a drink. I'm parched. Right. Hey, uh. Give a fellow a nickel. In need of a good story? How's it going? Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some money. Thanks. Have a great day. I fought in the war. I fought for you. Right here, folks. Paper. How's things with you? Master? Ain't nobody got a heart. Hey, buddy. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? There's a new gang roaming the countryside. I hear they're run by a man with a particular fancy for skinning his victims alive. Get out of here! You're not kind, mister! You're not kind at all! That son of a bitch Marshall's got an in for all of us. Thinks he's better than dealing with hard-working folks, I'd say. Yeah, I heard that too. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pig's penises. They're curly, like their tails. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> Who's your friend this isn't there? This going very well. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. 
And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here or some other flop house. Let me get through. What in the world? Hello. Well, my pockets are feeling like about time we went on a tear. Looking to see a show? What do you have playing today? The bear. Mm-hmm. Ticket for one, please. Right then, just head inside the tent. from when our country was young that the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, and old man Wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land and gorge yourself on fish and meat and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for sixty. Go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man Wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle. And he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends. <laughs> the turtle said, if Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the Coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy Possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. 
Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what Old Man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. So long. Take care. You keep Trust your gut, folks. Step right up. Evening. 